Chapter 5 Fractions Look at the following four figures. In figure 1, a square has been divided into four equal parts. One part out of four has been shaded, that is, one-fourth has been shaded. Mathematically, we can say one upon four portion has been shaded. In figure 2, a rectangular sheet has been divided into six equal parts. Out of six, five parts have been shaded, that is, five upon six portion of rectangular sheet has been shaded. One part out of six, that is, one upon six remains unshaded. In figure 3, a circle has been divided into four equal parts. Three parts out of four, that is, three upon four is red. In other words, three-fourths is red. One part out of four, one-fourth, that is, one upon four remains white. In figure 4, there are five pillars. Three pillars out of five, three-fifth are colored. Mathematically, three upon five are colored. With the above discussion, we arrive at the definition of fractions. Fraction A fraction is a number representing a part of the whole. A fraction is of the form A upon B, where A and B are whole numbers and B not equal to zero. In A upon B, A is called the numerator and B is called the denominator. Examples in 1 upon 4, 1 is numerator and 4 the denominator. In 5 upon 6, 5 is numerator and 6 the denominator. In 3 upon 7, 3 is numerator and 7 the denominator. Example 1. I had 12 toffees. I gave half of those to Rishi. How many toffees did I give? Solution. Total toffees is equal to 12. I gave Rishi 1 upon 2 of 12 toffees, which is equal to 6 toffees. I gave 6 toffees to Rishi. Example 2. Write the fraction for each of the following 1 seventh, 2 thirds, 5 sixths, 3 eighths. Solution. 1 seventh. This implies 1 out of 7, which is equal to 1 upon 7. 2 thirds. This implies 2 out of 3, which is equal to 2 upon 3. 5 sixths. This implies 5 out of 6, which is equal to 5 upon 6. 3 eighths. This implies 3 out of 8, which is equal to 3 upon 8. Representation of fractions on the number line. We have learned to represent whole numbers on the number line. Many numbers lie between any two consecutive whole numbers. For example, 1 upon 5, 2 upon 3, 2 upon 5, 7 upon 10 lie between 0 and 1. We can show the fractions on number line. Example Show 1 upon 2 on the number line. Solution we draw a number line. We know that 1 upon 2 is greater than 0, but less than 1. We divide the length between 0 and 1 into two equal parts and show one part as 1 upon 2. Types of fractions Like fractions Fractions having the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 upon 5, 3 upon 5, 4 upon 5 are like fractions. Unlike fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 2 upon 3, 3 upon 4, 1 upon 5 are unlike fractions. Proper fraction. A fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. For example, 5 upon 7, 3 upon 5, 1 upon 3 are proper fractions. Improper fraction. A fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. For example, 7 upon 5, 8 upon 3, 4 upon 3 are improper fractions. Unit fraction. A fraction having numerator as 1 is called a unit fraction. For example, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 5, 1 upon 7 are unit fractions. Mixed fraction. 
A fraction which is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. For example, 2 and 1 upon 3, 3 and 2 upon 5, 4 and 2 upon 7 are mixed fractions. All mixed fractions can be expressed as improper fractions. Example Choose the like pairs and unlike pairs of fractions from the following. 3 upon 8, 5 upon 8, 7 upon 9, 4 upon 7, 2 and 1 upon 3, 3 and 1 upon 3, 6 upon 19, 14 upon 19, 4 and 1 upon 13, 3 and 1 upon 15, and 5 and 1 upon 8, 8 and 1 upon 5. Solution We know that like fractions have common denominator whereas unlike fractions have different denominators. Like fractions are 3 upon 8, 5 upon 8, 2 and 1 upon 3, 3 and 1 upon 3, 6 upon 19, 4 upon 19 because they have common denominator. Unlike fractions are 7 upon 9, 4 upon 7, 4 and 1 upon 13, 3 and 1 upon 15, and 5 and 1 upon 8, 8 and 1 upon 5, because they have different denominators. Example, which of the following are improper fractions? 7, 3 upon 13, 23 upon 9, 11 upon 3, 5 upon 7, 23 upon 19, 17 upon 6. Solution. We know that in improper fractions, the numerator is greater than the denominator. The fractions 7 upon 1, 23 upon 9, 11 upon 3, 23 upon 19 and 17 upon 6 are improper fractions as their numerator is greater than their denominator. Conversion of fraction. Conversion of an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. We can convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction by the following steps. Step 1. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Step 2. Write the quotient as a whole number and the remainder as the numerator of the fractional part. Step 3. The denominator of the improper fraction becomes the denominator of the fractional part. Example Convert 7 upon 5 into a mixed fraction. Solution. Divide the numerator 7 by the denominator 5. Here, 1 is the quotient which becomes the whole number. 2 is the remainder which becomes the numerator of the fractional part. 5 becomes the denominator of the fractional part. Therefore, 7 upon 5 is equal to 1 and 2 upon 5 as a mixed fraction. Conversion of a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. A mixed fraction is a combination of a whole number and proper fraction. For example, 3 and 1 upon 2 is equal to 3 plus 1 upon 2. 5 and 2 upon 3 is equal to 5 plus 2 upon 3. We can convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction by the following steps. Step 1. Identify the whole number, numerator and denominator of proper fraction. Step 2. Multiply the whole number with the denominator of the fraction and to this add the numerator of the fraction. Step 3. Step 2 will give the numerator of the required improper fraction. Its denominator will be the same as the denominator of the fractional part. Example Convert each of the following into an improper fraction. 3 and 5 upon 7. Solution. 3 and 5 upon 7 is equal to 3 into 7 plus 5 upon 7, which is equal to 26 upon 7. 6 and 2 upon 3. 6 and 2 upon 3 is equal to 6 into 3 plus 2 upon 3, which is equal to 20 upon 3. Equivalent fractions. Look at the adjoining figures. Figure 1 has been divided into two equal parts and shaded part represents 1 upon 2. Figure 2 has been divided into four equal parts. Out of four, two parts have been shaded. The shaded parts represent the fraction 2 upon 4. 
Figure 3 has been divided into 8 equal parts. Out of 8 parts, 4 parts have been shaded. The shaded parts represent the fraction 4 upon 8. If we place the pictorial representation of one over the other, they are found to be equal. The fraction 1 upon 2 can be expressed as 2 upon 4, 4 upon 8 and many other more ways. We can write 1 upon 2 equal to 2 upon 4 equal to 3 upon 6 equal to 4 upon 8 equal to 5 upon 10 and so on. The above fractions being equal in value are called equivalent fractions as they represent same part of the whole. From above, we observe that the value of fraction does not change if the numerator and denominator are multiplied by the same non-zero number or divided by the same non-zero number. Let us consider examples to illustrate it. Example Write four equivalent fractions of 2 upon 5. Solution. The equivalent fractions of 2 upon 5 are 2 upon 5 equal to 2 upon 5 into 2 upon 2 equal to 4 upon 10. 2 upon 5 equal to 2 upon 5 into 3 upon 3 which is equal to 6 upon 15. 2 upon 5 equal to 2 upon 5 into 4 upon 4 which is equal to 8 upon 20. 2 upon 5 equal to 2 upon 5 into 5 upon 5, which is equal to 10 upon 25. Hence, equivalent fractions of 2 upon 5 are 4 upon 10, 6 upon 15, 8 upon 20, and 10 upon 25. Simplest irreducible form of a fraction. A fraction is said to be in its...